What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another video. I am right now in my truck. I'm actually in Ormond Beach, which is like 30 minutes into the trip that we are doing today. About to stop by uh, Starbucks, get a coffee, because I realized that I didn't get one this morning. So I need to wake up a little bit, but we do have a pretty good day planned out for today. I'm gonna head down to Orlando to this uh, local import shop. Local to Orlando, not local to me. I believe it's called Sunshine JDM. I bought motors from them a couple years ago and everything's been pretty good with them. Uh, really spotless valve cup or valve train and everything like that. So uh, they've got a good reputation. We're gonna go over there to <clears throat> pick up a transmission. If you guys aren't familiar with the channel, I do have an all wheel drive CRX. And in the last couple weeks, that all wheel drive CRX transmission have, has been giving me tons of issues. Um, they're notorious for bending the second gear shift fork, which we ended up trying to brace. We did little gussets on them come to find out from what I've read online gussets or not they still have that issue it's something about the gears themselves and like the shifting mechanism in it but uh, we are going to get a brand new transmission it was also locking me out of uh, third and fourth gear as well uh, if you guys look back at my channel when I was at the track a couple months ago with that car it would give me problems shifting come to find out it was the bracket for the clutch itself since it's a uh, converted cable operated to hydraulic operated clutch um, the bracket itself is bending and basically not giving the fluid that was needed to the clutch so uh, with that being said the clutch wasn't really activating and you can imagine how a transmission will react to a clutch not being engaged and you trying to power shift and and do a whole bunch of stuff to shift the gears and the forks are just like I can't do this dude so instead of taking apart the transmission and um, finding this part is bad that part is bad this part is bad and slowly but surely repairing it oh, let's see let's see him nice turn nice turn but yeah instead of uh, slowly repairing the transmission ordering parts and waiting for everything what I'm gonna do is go pick up another transmission right now I'll end up swapping the differential that I have into from the other uh, from the one that's in the car right now into the new transmission because that one is LSD with the phantom grip um, so I, I can keep the one that I'm taking out as like a spare transmission and if anything I can always repair it in the future but I really want to go racing this weekend so hopefully with the new transmission it should be good if I can just find some parking real quick it's always a pain when you have a truck because those small spaces won't do but uh, yeah my uh, friend Julia works at this or actually runs this Starbucks back when we used to work at Starbucks together we both started a couple years ago around the same time and now she is a store manager so it'll be cool to go see her again and um, you know get a nice cup of coffee Starbucks coffee Good to go. Julia wasn't there. It's no, no problem. You know, everybody deserves a nice day off. But uh, got my coffee, got my water, I got a sandwich in the truck. Now I can uh, drive down to Orlando. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Drop a comment if you know, my Florida peeps. I'd say there's about as much probability of them finishing that building as there is 5,000 Kyles attacking Area 51 in September. If you know, you know. Orlando eyesore. If y'all know I-4 in Orlando, you know the struggle. This traffic is no joke. I'm going like 15 miles an hour, but you know, whatever. It's uh, 12.30 right now, so I guess people are going out to lunch, but even if it wasn't, Orlando has traffic all day. It is crazy, the construction that we've had here for years. But uh, it makes me kind of happy that I don't live in Orlando because I, although I'm like an hour and a half away from wh wherever I go in Orlando, at the same time, Orlando is an hour away from Orlando, if that makes any sense. There's like, there's so much traffic if you go from one side to the other. So, I mean, nobody really wins in this situation. But uh, yeah, now people are stopping for no reason. It's all good, this drive. This freaking drive. At least I'm in the truck and not in my uh, CRX because this AC, this AC is coming in clutch, you know what I mean? Clutch. Hey, get off your phone! All right, guys, we're almost there. A mile away from the exit. Taking the Florida Turnpike. And then we have 3.6 miles to go. Not that bad of uh, traffic after that little area on I-4, but pretty smooth after that. Orlando, Florida! 
Well, I seriously think we need to talk about this. Y'all see that Burger King over there? Tell me how I just seen on Facebook somebody was saying how uh, Burger King is selling tacos now. Like, don't get me wrong, Burger King makes some alright burgers. I don't go there a lot, to be honest with you. I'm not a Burger King guy, but if I'm with somebody who wants Burger King, I'll go to Burger King. But you're gonna tell me they're making tacos now? Tacos? Tacos? That's just weird, bro. Leave it. Leave the mediocre tacos to Taco Bell, all right, dude? Like, if, if I want bad tacos, I'm gonna go to Taco Bell. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they're good, who knows? Has anybody tried them? Please let me know, because I'm honestly curious if they're good or not. And I gotta, whoa, 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 whoa. Half a mile, I gotta turn left. All right, I'm not looking at the camera, guys. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm focusing on the street. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, Taco Bell, has okay tacos for like you know late night snack and stuff but i don't know about the burger king thing dude i don't know about the burger king all right vineland right here last time i came to sunshine sunshine jdm it was like two three years ago and uh maybe about two years ago i was in my accord a little accord wagon and i started overheating on vineland right here so I'm like, come on, come on, last leg, you can make it there, come on car. And I actually picked up a swap for that car that day, and I ended up not ever putting the swap in. It was a H23 blue top, the VTEC double overhead cam one. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it was the last time I, that I was here, but pretty good shop. Um, but yeah, it's funny that I just remember last time I was here, it was overeating. And that has nothing to do with the tacos I was just talking about, so I don't know why I'm rambling. But yeah, so we're almost here. I'm pretty sure if I remember right, it's down that road on the left hand side, or you take a left turn and then it's in the plaza to the right hand side. So, let's see. Yeah, 150 feet, turn left, then on the right hand side, we will be there. So we should be there in just a minute. This light turns green, but yeah, almost there. I gotta show you guys, one of my best investments in the truck was like this $5 little stand. Comes with a little uh, like sticker mount or whatever, and then a uh, uh, magnet that you set well it has the magnet right there and then you set a magnet inside of your phone case you can just grab it and lay it right there I love that thing it's absolutely wonderful there she is Sun Shine State JDM Let's do a little zoom in for him right there check them out boys check them out unloading the truck fresh imports all right all right I see it I see it got the tranny Already right, checked it, goes into every gear perfectly. Even got the inner cups of the axle, on this side at least. Um, which somebody was saying that the inner part of it is a little longer than a typical B-Series. So I might end up just swapping the outer cup onto a B-Series axle and see if that engages correctly. On the inner side right here, people just use the regular half shaft. So I'm not worried about that, they say that's fine. But uh, I have another transfer case obviously. Now I'm gonna take the diff out of this and put the diff that I have at home, put it in this one. Also comes with the stock clutch, which I'm not gonna need it, but it always comes in handy to have one laying around. Got the slave, another starter, bracket right there. I could probably put the torque mount on, on the car if I wanted to. But uh, yeah, she's looking pretty good. It's got everything? Nah, it doesn't have any shoes, that's it. Huh? That shit's so clean. Video V16. Look at that thing. Man, if I still had my RSX. God. Right hand drive, bells and whistles. Oh, and it's got a radio. It's got a radio. It's good now. It's good. Blue Rick Maros. How much do those go for? With no rips like this, once I clean up those black spots and make them look good, 14 Gosh! $14? I'll buy them right now. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dude. They're really nice, though. I don't though. even like to look at it as an RSX. It's a Rocaro SR3. Yeah. You can put that in anything you want. You ain't lying. Yo, can I sit in these? The most expensive seats I ever sit in. 
That's the most expensive seat fall I've ever done. Oh, shoot. These things are actually really comfortable. If they hold you in, they're really soft. Holy crap. Somebody buy these, because I sure as hell can't afford them. $1,400. But they're nice seats. If I was into like uh, the whole JDM scene and like buying stuff like that, that would definitely be one of the first parts I buy into a car. Because those seats are just mint. Max, I see your seats. I see them, Max. The Advan wheels? Five lug though. Things is clean. She's all loaded up, and I even got a stock clutch to go with it. So if y'all need a clutch and you in town, let me know. I got you on that. I also got some bolts, flywheel bolts, fresh blade bolts. Got all the bolts for the trans. Man, we looking good. I just gotta clean up the inside of it. We come over here. These years of uh, of neglection, of abuse, or whatever. You know how it is. All the built up grime and stuff inside of the trans. But I'm pretty happy, you know? Like I said, it's got the inner cup on the other axle. So I can always uh, make shift another axle for it because um, of the, the length of it or whatever. But uh, yeah, transfer case is all there. All the bolts for it are. Got some extra bolts for the drive shaft and uh, and another starter because even though I bought a starter a couple months ago, brand new from Advance or from uh, O'Reilly's, excuse me. Now I got that right there. Extra slave cyl cylinder just in case. Although since it's been sitting, it might be seized, but you never know if you're in a pinch and you need something. I'll probably put that on the shelf. And uh, yeah, but I do have some goodies coming on Monday. I'm gonna use with the all-wheel drive trans so make sure to stay tuned for the video on that I'm not gonna reveal it yet but if you guys follow me on Instagram at slow integer you can see what I was talking about on my story you guys can actually see the install for it I'm gonna tell you right now it has something to do with the all-wheel drive trans and that's all I'm gonna say but yeah stay tuned for that for sure Ka -chow. Yo, Adam, this one better than the other one. there you go the carbon shit, fiebre yeah. damn Power Neo 1000? What is that? That intake though? Yeah, right on the visor, or the uh, cowl. It's pretty dope. Yeah. That is really cool. It's got two stroke bars. You know it's fast. And look at the engine. Dual core radiator. Oh, it's got a dual core on it? Yeah, aluminum. It's not Takata, it's Tabata. 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 Yeah, I got like. Oh, okay, I thought you can't see that. There you go, look at the inside. It's, Ugh. check the mileage for the last, the last inspection on it. Yo, it's deep. A badge number? Type This guy even went out of his way and put a blue H on the wheel. Thank you. <laughs> Fuel pressure, nothing. No more turbo. Verno Yamato. Spare key? Fancy. Uh, if you just... If you feel the shifting on this one, you feel it on that one, you can tell which one has the higher mileage. Oh yeah? This one has little to no play in it. That one's got a little play over there. Oh shoot. Oh my god, that thing's butter. For real, right? Holy crap. The other one's butter too, but it's just... This one has the Mugen shocks up front too? Yeah. Yeah. What is this? JDM flare. What? All the, all the JDM flare. Yeah. God. If I wasn't about the JDM hype before, now I am. The Brembos? The Mugens? Check them out. Check them out. See the little torque mount? Torque mount, all that. Alright, let's see it. Let's see it. Yo, put it in the front. Damn, son. I got, seven, I got 18 KMH over here. <laughs> Titanium DC5 exhaust. Thing's light as hell. Look at the pie cuts on it. Thing's crazy. It's too long, I can't pick it up. But this thing's wild. I really want to see them start the RSX. So hopefully they can get like a little gas tank on it. 
done it on other cars. They showed me the videos of it, but I think this would be super cool to watch it start on the vlog. Freaking full front clip, right hand drive, bells and whistles, dual core radiator, the carbon fiber fuel strut bar. And it's not focusing either, but there we go. Carbon fiber fuel strut bar, carbon fiber intake, the Spamco couplers. I like how it goes right up to the the cowl. It's really nice. My phone gets better, uh, records better in the low light than my camera does. YouTube Inception. I just told you that my phone records better. Unfortunately, for some reason, it wasn't recording or transferring over the files. So, I have the video of the startup right here. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of it. I know, I know it's ghetto, but it'll have to do. Here. So sorry that that clip couldn't transfer over. I thought it was a really cool one. They got it started just with some brake cleaner. Uh, it ran for like 30 seconds or something, just spraying a little bit. And at the very end, he turned on the AC, and the AC was still charged and everything, so it was blowing out cold AC. But anyways, I'll install it. I mean, insert this clip into the video. I'm so sorry I couldn't transfer it over. It was something with the file format. I tried converting and everything, and it still wasn't letting me do it. But I'm gonna add this clip right here and continue with the vlog. Yo, would you say that uh, AC is better than my Tundra? Oh yeah, that was, that was definitely cold. That, that AC came out cold as hell, and I, I barely got to it until when it like ran out, like the car turned off, but yeah. it's coming out pretty cold for a, for a half cut. That's crazy. Hit him up. Get it. Sunshine, JDM. Y'all know you want the half cut. I am. Nah, nah, we were supposed to put it in the other truck, bro. <laughs> Alright, come down. Right hand drive, EG clip. Where were we at? Where were we at? What? And talk about where we at, where people can Sunshine find you. Sunshine State JDM. You got a phone number? 407-412-5888. Sweet, perfect. Thank you. No doubt, no doubt. Yo, rev it! Rev it! Come on, more, more! Yeah, 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 just, just drop it off at the house. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll just meet you there. That's fine, yeah. There it is. There's the famous Ace Cafe. Where all they have, they have like uh, car meets and car shows over there all the time. Never been. But this uh, traffic had been going slow enough for me to actually see it. Ace Cafe. I'll see you one day on the inside. I'll see you one day. So yeah, I am driving home right now. I actually have a video in the background playing by uh, a YouTuber that I follow, Casey Neinstadt. He's actually nothing to do with cars. He uh, just vlogs his day. He does a lot of tech reviews and stuff. Um, I don't know, like a really cool YouTuber. Like I'm just, I have it playing in the background, not even looking at it, just listening to it so I can hear what he's saying and whatnot. Uh, just really cool YouTuber. I've said that a couple times now. But uh, yeah, I'm just driving home. I ended up having some food with the guys over from uh, from uh, Sunshine JDM. So, um, it was Tu Casa, I think it's called. 
the Spanish place. Amazing, super good. So I am stuffed. I'm surprised I'm still awake because between this boring drive and all the food that I've had, I'm ready to pass out. But uh, yeah, we're going home right now. Um, it's looking with the traffic. I'm gonna let her go. Go ahead. Yeah, looking at it with the traffic and whatnot on my phone, it said it's about two hours from home, so I really hope it clears up. I'm going like five miles an hour right now, and it's even worse than when I was coming down because it is 5.49 right now. Like, the traffic is insane. So hopefully I can get out of this Orlando cluster. Uh, as soon as I hit, like, Sanford area, right past Sanford, going north on I-4, or east, excuse me, uh, the traffic clears up a lot. And then once I'm on 95, there's almost no traffic. There's a little, but it's always like at least a steady 50 miles an hour. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue on the drive and uh, hope I get out of this traffic quick. See, we're about to pass Sanford right now and I'm a steady 65 miles an hour. Don't worry about all the lights on the dash. <laughs> 65 miles an hour, cruising. No more Orlando traffic. We hit that Sanford area, cruising, cruising. All right, so that does pretty much sum up the vlog for today. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right now since I do have a lot of content from uh, this afternoon. Just wanted to step outside and do the outro real quick. It's a pretty nice Mustang right there. Anyways, so yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for today. Uh, in the next video, we should actually be installing the transmission, but like I said, I'm gonna be taking the casing off of it so then we can actually install the LSD and whatnot. How's that look? I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to be doing that in the next video. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to drop them down in the comment section below or DM me on Instagram at Slow and Tiger, and I'll be able to get back to you as soon as possible. I'm going to leave the link for Sunshine JDM down below as well. I know that the guy gave the phone number earlier to the shop, but if you have any questions, you can always refer back to their website as well. I like that place. I've got in, like I said, H23 earlier. Uh, I've got in B20s from there couple years ago and now the uh, all-wheel drive transmission because that was the only place that had them locally so uh, yeah big shout out to uh, Joshua big shout out to Adam who were over there helped out I hung out with them the rest of the day and uh, yeah we'll see you guys on the next video peace